When Guyot Environment crashed into 11th Hour Racing near The Hague in the final leg of the ocean race, many people were left wondering, how can two boats, crewed by some of the best sailors in the world, possibly collide in moderate conditions with good visibility? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Much of the around the world ocean race, as the name implies, takes place in the open ocean, far from land and other boats. These boats sail at insane speeds in very rough conditions, and the decks are often completely awash in very cold seawater. Because of this, one of the most significant risks to these sailors is being swept overboard, because the likelihood of being able to retrieve somebody alive is slim to none, especially at night in rough conditions. As a result, many of these boats have fully enclosed cockpits where the crew can operate the boat from inside, which, for most of the race, is much safer and more comfortable than being on deck. However, because much of the race is in the open ocean, race organizers have been adding more inshore elements to the ocean race to increase visibility and spectator interest to keep the sponsors happy. In The Hague, boats had to complete two laps of a square inshore course before heading off to sea and the final stop of Genoa, Italy. And it's on these inshore legs that the enclosed cockpit design of these boats is really quite suboptimal. Here the skipper of 11th Hour Racing, Charlie Enright, just tacked onto starboard, gaining the right of way over Guyot Environment, which appears on the left. The rest of the crew is down below, completing their sail trimming tasks after the tack, and unable to see for themselves that Guyot Environment is approaching. The skipper on deck can clearly see them, and is probably expecting them to take one of two actions. Either they will tack just before they reach him, which is called a lee bow, a good tactical maneuver for inshore racing, which feeds you turbulent air off their sails, or they will simply duck behind, giving up a bit of ground, but a good safe maneuver. But herein lies another problem with the enclosed cockpit. Charlie Enright can't actually see the crew of the other boat, so he has no idea what they are planning to do or if they have even seen him. With an open cockpit, he would have been able to see whether they were preparing for attack or setting up for a duck, but because he can't see them, he has no idea of their intentions. <laughs> Thankfully nobody was hurt, but it's still bittersweet, because 11th Hour Racing was well positioned to win the race, until now. The skipper of Guyot Environment, Benjamin Dutroux, takes full responsibility for the crash, but that's a small consolation for taking two boats, including his own, out of the race. It's also ironic that a boat design feature that has made the boats much safer for large parts of the race has in some ways made them more dangerous for others. But, as they say, everything in sailing is a compromise. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.